Circe is the daughter of the sun god Helios and the nymph Perse. Deemed unattractive and powerless from birth, Circe's early life is lonely until she falls in love with the mortal fisherman Glaucus. Devastated by his mortality, Circe discovers a way to make him a god. She transforms him into his true form using the sap of magical flowers. Arrogant in his divinity, however, Glaucus rejects Circe in favor of the nymph Scylla. Circe's jealousy causes her to use the flower's magic again, accidentally transforming Scylla into a bloodthirsty, six-headed monster. Remorseful, Circe confesses her deeds to her father Helios, who realizes all of his children with Percy are witches, incapable of extracting power from herbs and droughts. This type of magic was forbidden at that time. As punishment for admitting her witchcraft, Circe is banished by Zeus to eternal exile on the island of Aiaia. She uses the beginning of her exile to study and hone her witchcraft, tending gardens and experimenting with potions. Over the centuries she spends on Aiaia, Circe interacts with many mythic figures. She is once escorted off the island by the mortal Daedalus at the request of Circe's sister and the Queen of Crete. During the brief visit to Crete, Circe helps her sister birth the Minotaur and it uses her witchcraft to help tame the monster. Circe enters a period of loneliness and is excited to host a group of forlorn sailors who arrive one night on Aiaia in search of food and rest. However, once the sailors realize that Circe lives alone on the island, they attack her. Circe then uses her witchcraft to kill all the men. Remorseful about having killed so many men, and now wary of visitors, when the next ship comes to her island, she uses her witchcraft to transform the men into pigs. Circe bestows the same fate upon hundreds more sailors who come to her island over the coming years. One particular ship arrives, led by the hero, Odysseus, who charms Circe into sparing his crew and hosting them on her island over the winter. Odysseus and his crew ultimately stay on Aiaia for one year, during which a romance grows between Circe and Odysseus. After Odysseus leaves to continue his journey back to Ithaca, Circe gives birth to a son, Telejonus. Raising the infant Telejonus, Circe quickly realizes that something is amiss and learns that the goddess Athena threatens her son. Circe casts a spell to protect the island while Telejonus grows. When the teenage Telejonus begs to leave the island to meet his father, Circe acquires the tale of the stingray god Trigon and begrudgingly sends off her son, armed with the tail atop a spear. When Telejonus meets his father, however, Odysseus attacks him and is accidentally killed by the poisoned spear. Guilty, Telejonus returns home with Odysseus' wife Penelope and son Telemachus. Penelope learns the magical pharmaceutical arts from Circe and becomes the first human witch. Having lost her hero Odysseus, Athena visits Aiaia to offer her patronage to Telemachus, who refuses her. Telejonus accepts in his stead and embarks on his, home, his own heroic journey. Forlorn by the loss of her son, Circe negotiates with Helios to end, end her exile. With Telemachus's help, Circe uses the poison spear to turn Scylla to stone and collects more of the flowers she once used on Glaucus. Finding love with Penelope, Telejonus marries Telemachus's mother and Finding love with Telemachus, Circe uses the flower's magic on herself with the intention of becoming mortal 
and living out her days traveling with Telemachus. She gives up her immortality for love. That's quick.